What's up, guys? I'm Scar here from the Scory Sports here with Hooney, MVP of the series. Right after the game, they won 3-2. Very, very close series. What did you think about the games? It was really, really hard. It was really, really tired, but still, like there was a lot of crowd like actually supporting us. And then also, I didn't, re I really didn't want to lose again. So, I think that's why like we keep going like five games. Still, the, even though like we trying to focus as much as we can, and then we actually got that. Uh, I have to ask. You played against Shen all five games. Is that frustrating for you to play against, or were you okay doing that? Uh, I'm really, yeah. Shen is like, of course, it's like really strong pick. And because like you can ult, uh, you have like global advantage and you can always just use TP on top because you have always ulti. Like something like that from there, like it's really hard uh, honoring to play against it. But because it's really a strong laning phase too. Like one versus as a one versus one wise, like if Shen is a really good player, you can actually pressure a lot against like even Echo or like everything. So I think it's pretty uh, good experience for me to just like practicing against one versus one too, like because Tarishan is like not that bad uh, at the mechanics, and that he's really good at one versus one. Like also like when it, when we actually lose like uh, Darshan get the like lane pressure kind of, and they they they're using a lot of that from like Shen advantage. So I think uh, it was really good experience, even though it, it was kind of annoying to play against like five games. Uh, so. CLG left up Shen a lot. And for you guys to pick if you guys wanted it, what made it so that you, you just told me Shen's a really strong pick, Shen's really, really good, even in 1v1 situations, why didn't you guys want to pick, pick it? Uh, for me, it's like Echo is like also like really strong pick too. So, uh, and then I also like playing really like, uh, like the world champion, like, you know, Echo is like one of like my best champion because I used to play a lot and then it's really comf comfortable play for me. So that's why I think like I prefer if I if I have to choose, I think I prefer like Echo. Like it's I think kind of it does abuse. Uh, usually when I watch Immortals play, I usually see you and Rainover dictate the pace of the game. However, in this series, I think a lot of people would argue that Smithy was the better jungler throughout all five games. Uh, what? But somehow you still went off. You got MVP. Was it really hard or was it unusual for for you this series to see Rainover like not really impacting the game as much as he usually does? Yeah, it feels like uh, in this meta, if I play actually like like Echo against Shen, like jung I don't think Jungler can do too much. Like that's why I'm calling like, oh, you don't need to come. Like this is like, gonna be like snowball match. But, like I can always go like, oh, I think you need to cover both. Like because like always Shen has like ulti advantage. Like it's kind of bad for our like our botio, but still like, our botio can like, playing really accordingly between our jungler. So that's why I d like it. Feel it didn't uh, looks like we didn't put so much research on the top. I think that's why like. It was they're, they're saying like, oh, in Ohuni this time uh, he didn't use the uh, rain over his hands, like you know. Uh, it, that's really strange because throughout the season you guys actually have rain over topside the entire time. Usually it's very very hard to transition types of play. Like usually your team is known as the topside pressure play. Other teams are known pressuring bottom. C9 is known for pressuring mid. Uh, was it easy for you guys to switch because? Honestly, it usually is very hard for many teams. Yeah, I think it usually is really hard, but still, like we put so much uh, working on it, and we're trying to like change our play style because we actually dropped the same final game. So we're trying to still improve, and then we're looking forward uh, to get onto that after we we're gonna really do well on the wars. I wish. Um, I know it sucks, but I want to ask you about what happened in the semifinals again this year. So last year, kind of similar to this year, you guys weren't able to make it to the finals, even though you were, if not the best, the, the second best team in this split. Uh, how did it feel, and like what really happened in that situation? Uh, I think like we were, like didn't even uh, practice that hard, like uh, as as fast as we can. So that's why like kind of like uh, feels like we take. Three weeks break, at the, at the, and then like it was kind of sucks for us because like we didn't even practice like like super working hard. I think so like compared to right now. So I think for now like we actually got to like motivated a lot, and the, at the same final like we didn't have like any uh, matches. So that's why we're playing just a scrim every day, and then we're kind we're we're kind of chilling, and then we have really good results at, at the scrim. So that's why I think we kind of like more like calm and like kind of di not disrespecting, but uh, but we actually like maybe too much like trust ourselves like we're gonna just no matter what win so probably like we didn't prepare like enough that much to win uh, a common critique of yours is that a uh, huni is a top lane player who tilts a lot like you look at his desk he's got the most deaths and look at but i say look at his kills you know he has the most kills in north american top lane uh what do you kind of like how would you respond to this kind of critique where people say that you don't have like a me very men mentally strong fortitude um well i would like to explain explain about like even though I have more staff, 
was like I have really good about like making play. That means like I can actually like make play and then I'm I'm there like we can play uh, ex like explain around here like well, I'm trying to like make play and then like sometimes it go it can it can be go bad and then sometimes it can go, uh, it can be like really good. But I think it's like also uh it's really good that's like my kind of play style and then also it's like really fit like my, um playing with jungler and then we can actually always like snowball and then i have also like uh what i know it does like uh there's like something graph about like 10 minute how uh goal difference or csing difference i think it's like i was like best like i have like uh, average like 200 gold against like enemy and uh, timeliner like different gold like that means like i'm actually playing to like most uh, snowbally and then also like even though i have that that means like, i even have like all, like also kill so i don't think it's like for me it's just how how i play um who's gonna win tomorrow uh i'm really not sure like both of them is like really good at it uh playing uh legal presence right now and because like we're screaming uh them against them and then i know like cena is like really did really well against us too so i think like really hard to say but feels like c9 can go actually like there's like a lot of chance they can actually get the chance uh win the final i'm i think like c9 is playing really well right now um what makes C9 very deadly? I hear that from a lot of teams. Teams telling me they scrim, they scrim C9. C9 is looking very, very good. What's so scary about C9? What, what's their like? Why are they so good? They're actually feels like playing really accordingly between like both you and top. Like Impact's like really good at sacrificing. How, like he's actually being behind, and then like he knows like when he behind like what, what he need to do, and then like he's like really good at without any cover. And the middle is also like really good at like camping somewhere. Like let's say ball, like they, uh, he actually put so much resource on that. Like when we try to like pressure top, like he actually go for like drag or like just go our bot to like something pressure more. Like I think they're playing like really like uh, robots and like trying to uh, do their best. So I think they, they uh, that's from uh, from C9 strength. So you guys are definitely in the gauntlet. Uh, you guys get a choice to play one team. What team do you want to see again? Do you want to see the team, uh, do you want to play against C9 or CLG or even, like what team would you prefer to play against as the last match to make it to Worlds? Uh, I really want to just uh, meet against C9 because we actually dropped the game against the final, but I don't think life feels like we're the worst team. So I really want to just win C9. But then like TSM need to win, so probably maybe t if TSM win, I really would like to play against C9 and then win again. Well, thank you very much, Huni. Uh, I'm Scar here from the Score Esports. You can find more content online and on our mobile app. Thank you guys. Hope you guys have a nice day.